What's up guys? Brian here from Nine Tails Fishing. So we're going to bring you a little tackle tip, um, rigging tip, whatever you want to call it. We're going to start doing this uh, since we're kind of in the off season and it's winter. Uh, and I'll show you some of my favorite ways to catch fish uh, throughout the year. on Just various different uh, tactics and rigs and stuff like that. And so today, uh, first of all, this video is brought to you by the Crazy Hick Bait Company. Uh, my title sponsor, uh, hell of a good guy. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, uh, he sells a lot of soft plastics and stuff like that. Just go to uh, www.crazyhickbaits.com. Crazyhickbaits.com. Anyways, so I don't like to give out all my secrets, right? And let's be honest, I don't have a ton. But there's one that I'm going to give you today that I think might give you an edge, especially during the fall when small mouth, large mouth are deep, right? So we all know the old drag the football head jig, H grubs, stuff like that. I'm going to show you a way to fish a swim bait a little bit more efficiently and effectively in those colder water, deeper situations, right? So uh, what I've got here is just your basic, uh, this is like a 3.8 inch swim bait made by Crazy Hick Bait Company. Uh, these things are fantastic, really nice action, a um, little fatter than the average, but I like the short stockiness of them. Uh, and so one of the first things I'll do is what just about everybody does, and that is dip the tail in a chartreuse spike it. Uh, don't know why it works, uh, don't really care, just know that when I dip these things in that chartreuse spike it, garlic scented, they tend to eat it a lot better than when it isn't. Next thing I'm going to show you is this goofy rig, right? So we've all seen it. It's got a whole bunch of different names. Doesn't matter what you call it. Um, you've got your EWG hook, stainless steel line tie, wire lead, and your weight. Now the nice part about this is you can add as much weight or as little weight as you want. Uh, I'll go as heavy as a half ounce if I'm fishing real, or as an ounce uh, if I'm fishing real deep. I'll fish uh, as light as a half ounce, three eighths ounce, whatever you want to go. Um, just be comfortable in what it is, right? This particular rig is half ounce. So what you do a lot during the year is you're going to throw those H grubs, those swim baits, and you're going to drag them along the bottom, right? And I think we've all experienced that lift uh, when you're reeling it in. Rigging a swim bait up this way is so much more effective keeping it on the bottom. I don't know why it works, I don't really care, but the smallmouth just kill this thing uh, when you're dragging it along the bottom. And for some reason, this weight extended down seems to stick to the bottom and bounce off cover a little bit better. Gonna get a little extra noise uh, with that uh, tungsten weight. This is a half ounce Titan tungsten. Um, and so, you know, just your, your basic, uh, same way to rig it up as you would any other swim bait. Um, except you're going to rig it like a, a weedless worm, basically. I'm going to stick it up and through. Uh, so you got it through the gap there. So now there's two ways to do this. I'm going to show you both here in just one second. You want to mark where that hook's going to go through. Pop it through. Make sure it's straight on the hook and you're good to go. So you can text pose that hook. If you're running it through a little bit heavier cover, maybe there's a little bit of grass. Uh, stuff like that. What I do when it's just an open ground, rocks, uh, stuff like that, I'm going to keep that hook and just push that down wide open. Allows just for a little bit better hookup ratio. Uh, this is a little small of a hook to be doing this with. I like a little bigger hook, but uh, either way, uh, now you got that hook wide open, better hookup ratio. And when you're running this along the ground, this is bouncing and staying much more uh, firm to the ground. Than, uh, than I've noticed with like a football head uh, jig or something like that, or a standard swim bait head. They always tend to lift a little bit where this doesn't really get that lift, uh, and you can really work that thing along the bottom. Really fantastic way to do it. Like I said, you can pop this back up if you're in a little bit heavier cover um, and uh, uh, get a little bit better protection from getting snagged up in the weeds and stuff like that. So that's it, guys. That's the tip for the day. Quick five-minute video. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, don't forget to comment, 
uh, like, share it. Uh, I can use all the help I can get. We're at 420 subscribers. Uh, we're going to do a big giveaway that I'll announce uh, in the next couple of weeks when we hit 500. And then an even bigger one when we get to 1,000, which is our benchmark, right? So once again, I appreciate everything uh, that you guys are doing to share and help grow the channel. Uh, don't forget to check out my boy over at Crazy Hick Bait Company for all your soft plastic needs. Uh, and if you have any questions, want to see something in, in particular, you want me to go into a certain technique uh, a little bit more in depth, let me know. Uh, until then, tight lines, guys.